This is called thin splaining. I am not a fan of my eyes right now. I would like to talk very quick about something that annoys me. And I'm going to call it. No, I'm not going to. That's a huge bitch. All right, let's. We got to pull this one back. I need to remove this, the, the bar at the bottom so you can see the girth. You got to see that. Foopa. Here we go. I would like to talk very quick about something that annoys me. And I'm going to call it thin explaining. Oh. I just kind of, it's the idea that pe fat people like have no idea. Look at what is going on below her. I mean, her pants or whatever that is, is pulled up to like her nipples almost. What is going on here? What is happening? What is happening? That's like a psychedelic flannel shirt. It's like a psychedelic fl neon flannel shirt. She looks like she's wearing, like, do you have any stained glass window flannel with like neon, with a psychedelic twist to it? You don't? Okay. Well, let me know when you can be getting some in stock. Her top is cute though. I'd look fire in that. Um... If, uh, what what's ha what is going on? What's the pink part? What is that? Is that her body? No, I'm serious. Is that her body? What is that? Like, where's her? Th where? What is that? Like, what part of her body is that pink part? What the fuck is that? Is that the trans flag flannel? That's a, that's a trans flag. Oh, it's a. <laughs> what the hell kind of country is this where I can only hate a man if he's white? Uh, we can hate women if they're white too. Okay. Equal opportunity hate on the, on the, on the, on the daily swole. You know, here, I don't care what you have between your legs, what you want to wear, what you call yourself. If you say stupid shit, it's game on. It's game on. All right. Let's play this again from the start. I'm... I would like to talk very quick about something that annoys me. And I'm going to call it thin splaining. Oh, I just kind of, it's the idea that pe fat people like have no idea how to be thin and that's why we're fat. Well, folks. That's all, folks. That kind of sums it up. All right. Spirit fingers, everyone. So people, or like, that we just don't understand health and that's why we are the way that we are. So they want fucking based based as fuck here. Like on that's two for two. You're on point. You're doing, I don't have to say anything. All right. We're two for two. Uh, you're, you're doing my, I appreciate it. Make it easy. Add their tips saying that it's not appropriate to talk to your loved ones about their body or their weight gain or loss. And some people are like, what if I want to talk to my partner about it because health risks run in their family? It's their family. Who told you about the health risks? Do you think they don't know? Why do you need to talk to them about it? Because they obviously don't know. Maybe they would be taking better care of their health if they realized the implications of their choices. Because we know that people are not educated. People don't know how to do their fucking taxes. People don't know how to do fundamental like investing. People don't know how to do fundamental exercise. People don't even know what eating real food actually means. So yeah, they don't know. It's called being a friend. How do you, how do I know about, how, is, how do you know about your friend's family's health problems? They probably told you if you're actually friends. What, what, what is happening here? Seriously, what is happening here? 41 seconds of brain fucking left. I said you can decline getting your weight taken at the doctor's office and so many people jumped in to say unless you have anesthesia unless you're getting a prescription for a medication unless it's this unless it's that i still don't know what the pink part is is that your is that your fucking body bro is that your body is that pink shit part of her fucking body is that is that part of her like is that part of her structure what is, what is it? I still haven't seen any separation that shows me it's a leg or anything. Like, I don't know what it is. What is it? <laughs> what the fuck is the pink part? What's going on here? What the fuck? Oh my God. You're going to make me moose. You're going to fucking make me moose on this one. Oh. And I'm like, fat people know when it's medically necessary. Stop. <laughs> 
I made a video saying that there are no diseases exclusive to fat people, which there are absolutely not. And people want to say, um, it can actually be a risk factor for other diseases like we don't already know. People have literally been saying this shit to me since I was seven years old. I know. I don't need your helpful input. You've been morbidly obese since you were seven. That's probably because your parents were obese and they fed you garbage. And yeah, you were... You started life a hundred yards behind the starting line. So that sucks. And I, I, I feel for you. It doesn't mean you can't take better care of your health. You just haven't done it properly. Oh my God. Oh, that was it. Oh my God. Thank, thank Christ. We're done with that. Woo. Well, all right then, fam. How about I send you a hobo's dick cheese? She would fucking eat the fuck out of that hobo's dick cheese. I still don't know what the pink part is. Dude. Fat aggression's a real thing. It's a real thing. Again, I, as, as, as if people haven't been telling me since I was seven years old, you haven't, you don't take care of yourself. Tell me. What's your thing? Abby Hoy, whatever it is. Come on. I've always said this. What's your play by play? What's every single step? What do you eat every single day? What's, what's seven days in the life moment by moment? What are you eating? Everything that you're doing? Come on. What are you doing? Give me a break. This is not a therapist couch. You are huge. Like Jai fucking Normous. I love how that's supposed to prove something to me. Like, oh my God, you're right. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm going to go work out like again after this, just by looking at this. It just makes me, holy shit. It makes me want to drop down and do a hundred pushups. And it doesn't even matter if we, let's say we both died at the same age. At least I would be able to walk until it happened. My God, how do you want to live like that? Imagine being that, sick to just completely ignore the fact that you are perpetuating this in your own life and what you what you have to go through in order to pretend like that is a positive thing to pretend like okay i'm doing something right like this is actually a virtuous pursuit seriously you don't know most people don't know how to eat healthy whether you're fat or not most people don't know how to exercise most people don't know how to eat healthy most people don't know how to create a good community and improve their environment most people don't know how to train most people don't know how to actually get the importance of fucking quality sleep most people can't even touch their fucking toes let alone see their dick or clit most people don't even know how to meditate let alone do it for five minutes five minutes a fucking day yeah most people don't it's a fucking card it's a card right here on this monitor. It says most people don't fill in the fucking blank. Most people don't do it. Oh my God. Imagine taking all that time and effort to fit in. Imagine all the time it took to get into those fucking pants. You could have done a full fucking workout. You could have done a full workout rather than tr taking the pliers and trying to fucking get into those. This ain't the 80s. You don't need to wear those like whitewashed, painted on fucking jeans. You shouldn't. I still don't even know what the pink part is. That's not even a leg. What is that? Holy shit, fuck balls. I've got to bring that up again. I would like no, no, to no, talk very. Sh shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. I'm swole splaining. What? All right, hold on. What the fuck, bro? Yo, what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. I'm Christ. your huckleberry. That's just my game. What in the actual fuck?